Hello, hi, good day, and I am Mr. Ganesan, your business studies teacher, Cambridge 0450 code 0450 IDCSE Business Studies Cambridge. Okay, today you are with me in my seminar, and uh, before I proceed into going in detail about seminar, I will just give you some advice tips uh, on how to um, do this particular paper and uh, this is my very first time doing uh, online seminar because always we yeah, always have normal seminars okay without uh, delaying the time most important thing that we need you already with me for the past few months and you know the energy and the speed that we have and we are very close to IDCSE so we have to be always motivated yeah, always motivated on doing uh, our studies and so on. So I'm just going to show you one motivation and then we will proceed. Let's gear up with a little bit motivation and inspiring quotes and then move on with our syllabus. Yeah. Let me share with you. Success is the result that you are ultimately seeking. You must be obsessed with the process. You have no time to let fear, doubt, failure, quit, negative thoughts, or give up enter into your mental. See, you have massive potential. So from the moment you open your eyes in the morning, your mindset has to be win. Meaning winning that particular morning and carrying that winner's mentality with you as you enter your classroom. So what the person to the left of you is pessimistic. So what the person to the right of you is zoned out. You, yes you, can only be concerned with staying locked in because you refuse to let the aura of your classmates or classroom enter into your mental space. See, this race is won by the one that can distance him or herself from the rest of the pack. So I need you to realize that there will be bad days. There will be times that you feel like you have no earthly idea what your teacher or professor is talking about. But what you will never ever do is throw a pity party. What you will never ever do is tap out. What you will never ever do is concede and throw in the towel. What you will do is knock on his or her door and say, listen, I only have one option. If that is success in your class. But right now, I'm confused about the lesson you taught today. And I need clarity, and I need it now. Security. If you are passionate about wanting to achieve success in that class, he or she will bend over backwards to help. But if you settle for mediocrity and never say anything, you are setting yourself up to fail. And tell you, my friend, is not in your DNA. You're not the first person to question whether or not they have what it takes to achieve at a high level. I promise you're not the first person to feel like they are underperforming. I promise you are not the first person to feel like their brain is about to explode. Yes, it do. Those that can push through no matter what storms arise are in the small minority, that small percentile of those that ultimately break through and make their goals and dreams a reality. So the reality is this, you were born with everything you need to pass every class with flying colors. You were born with everything you need to overcome the anxiety that may pop up from time to time on a mission to derail your lifelong hopes, dreams, and aspirations. See, my favorite acronym is H-W-P-O. And just in case you forget, or just in case you don't know, that means hard work pays off. So winners like us never lose focus. And we're horrified and petrified whenever someone tries to tell us to take the easy route. Because we already know there is no easy route. Because if it were easy, everyone would do it. 
so we avoid that ignorance and get back to our grind of studying harder than we've ever studied before because we understand that you get out of it what you put into it. So we pour our heart and soul into our homework. We pour our heart and soul into studying for exams. That way, we sleep like a baby because we know in our heart of hearts that we have put every ounce of our being into our work, and therefore, success is a foregone conclusion. After all of the hard work, after all of the studying, after all of the blood, sweat, and tears, you still fail. Never forget this. You never fail. You never lose. You only learn. See, life will knock the best out of you. See, that's what you have to tell yourself. Because of this setback, I'm stronger. Because of this setback, I'm wiser. Because of this setback, I'm smarter. And because of this setback, I'm hungrier than ever. So I say all of this is a friendly reminder. And I'm going to be spectacular. So I need you to jump over the obstacles. I need you to go around the pitfalls. And I need you to push through the adversity. Because that dormant volcano of success that's living inside of you is just waiting for you to grant permission for it to erupt. Okay, I think you are motivated. Okay, I am motivated. Hopefully you are motivated, yeah. Okay, so remember for this seminar, the most important thing is you should already be going to, through some revision and so on. So I'm here, I'm going to brush you through certain skills that uh, will enhance your, uh, what you call it, uh, um, your marks. Okay, because because we could remember, uh, reminder need to be given so that you will, succeed in that particular thing especially paper two okay paper one most of you are familiar familiar with all the things but i still will show you a certain command of words okay and why this has been used and why is it important uh, for idcsc business study students here okay uh, and uh, i've been practicing in classes as well with all these um uh, words that justify, explain, uh, define, and so on. So this will be just a reminder for you, uh, all of you, that these are a few crucial words that have been frequently asked in IGCSC. I will just separate with you paper one and paper two. So first of all, we just look at the general view uh, and what is the weightage like of different, different chapters, how it's going to uh, be linked and I'll show you some sort of uh, uh, candidate uh, examples okay and uh, as I promised I will also be giving you this okay this is none other than me yeah okay extra colors here yeah. okay so um, where you have all your groceries and uh, uh, so on here so these are important I will definitely give all of you the uh, seminar pack Okay, so today we'll be on focusing on all the important components in business study IGCSC 04, 50, paper 1, and paper 2. Okay, without further ado, I will move on. Okay. Okay, now if you look here, sorry, if you look here, this is your how it's going to look. Yeah, paper one, okay, it's written examination, as you know, paper one and paper two is both written examination. Okay, here you have uh, 80 marks. Okay, each question consists of 20, 20, 20, so 80, they'll convert into 50%. Okay, same goes to paper two. 
Okay, it has also it also has 80 marks and it'll be converted into uh, 50%. So 50-50, it is 100. Okay, total each paper. Paper one is one hour 30 minutes. Paper two is also one hour 30 minutes. Okay, so if you could see these are the syllabus that you have in your IDCSC business studies. Okay, so understanding business activity, people in business, marketing, operation management, financial information, external influences. Okay, so uh, like for example, understanding business activity, people business, people in business, marketing were covered uh, in year 10 and uh, the rest three operation management, financial information and external influence were covered in year 11. Uh, most probably that will be still even fresh in your mind, hopefully. Uh, so you need to touch base more on chapter one, I mean, session one, session two, session three, understanding business activity, people in business and also marketing. Yeah. Because most of the time in business studies, this is uh, exam tips, yeah. Marketing has the most wastage, uh, weightage uh, in the business studies. Okay, because it's a big chapters, okay, market research, market mix, um, then you have plays, promotion, so on, right? So it's a very heavy topic, so their chances of asking question is very high over there. Okay. If you could see this assessment objective, okay, how they're going to assess you, okay, definitely on knowledge and understanding. Now remember, I always say, put a bracket K, that means you have knowledge. Okay, and understanding, then we have application, analysis, and evaluation. Where most of them fail is on the application part and evaluation part. Yeah, most of them fail to do so because they just immediately answer the question. They are not focusing on what is on the, in the scenario given, read, underline the keywords. They don't do that. Given the exam paper, they immediately take the uh, question and they just answer the question without even reading the scenario. Remember, scenario only from scenario you are able to get the application. So knowledge and understanding is very simple. If you could remember what the teachers taught, or you could have you have your own notes, reading from your own notes, and uh, probably uh, reading the textbook or course book, that is sufficient enough for you to gain the particular knowledge and understanding okay application is apply the knowledge and understanding of fact terms concept convention theories and techniques okay next you have analysis is an distinguish between evidence and opinion in a business context some of you give explanation but if you see the explanation right it is not in a in a in a way of business context Okay, it's just, it looks very simple, like, uh, just normal touch base, but which is not focusing much on business. Remember, if the scenario is talking about electronic uh, stuff, you talk about electronic stuff. Don't talk about carpentering there. Okay? okay, probably in class they might give you different example, but when exam given to you electrical, then use electrical. Okay, so make sure you focus on the question. Okay, uh, then evaluation here. Candidates should be able to present a reasoned explanation, develop arguments, understand implication, and draw inferences. Make judgment, recommendation, and decision. Remember the six part question I always say you need to give them a recommendation, you need to give them a decision so they will know this student already have knowledge, able to apply analyzing the matter and able to give vision. Examiner don't, don't, don't understand uh, what is in your mind unless you tell, tell in the form of words. Okay, this is what my decision is. I choose company A compared to company B because, for example, location company A is nearer to the uh, working people or something like that. So you must give them a decision. Okay. Okay. See how the way uh, uh, how it's been assessed here. Knowledge and understanding paper one is forty percent. Application thirty percent. Analyzing fifteen percent. Evaluation fifteen percent. 
But on paper too, it's totally a different story. The knowledge is just 20%, okay? Whereas application is 30%, which means you must be able to read the, say, insert the scenario given, and then apply things from that particular scenario in your answer. Be able to analyze thing, and you need to give evaluation, recommendation, or conclusion. You okay, so it is 25, 25, 30, 20. If knowledge means it's more on uh, paper one. In paper two, which is more important, application has 30%. Stop sharing. I'm going to share you something else. Okay, I will share with you what are the common words that is needed in IGCSC visa studies. Okay. So there was content done, this done, okay. I hope you can see this. Okay, good. Here, paper one, paper two, short answers. You see, most important, each question is based on a short business-related situation or a scenario. Okay, and remember, each question is different. Okay, each question is different. And how to get to know how much the mark? The, num uh, the mark is definitely written. Okay, for each part is definitely shown. Okay, and you have to write your answers in the given box. Why I keep on uh, insisting on this? Because I realize some people tend to, you know, even the examiner's column, they tend to write over there. Please do not write over there. Write in the stipulated given space. Remember guys, practice makes perfect. So before we sit for the IGCSE, make sure you do a lot of practice. Write in full. Okay, write in full. Don't oh, just do the short, 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 short answers. Okay, no, you write in full. That is the biggest uh, tips that I can give you. Why that will be uh, good because you know how long you need to answer certain question, certain type of question you will know. Okay, so that is very important. And uh, okay, you see, question A and B is definitely knowledge based, normally because it come on defined. I'll tell you to calculate certain percentage or certain small amount of uh, um, interest and so on, which just consists worth of two marks. Okay, read the command words carefully. This will help you know exactly what you need to do for each question. Okay, give precise and accurate details. Try to spend no more than two to three minutes, you see. That means do not waste time in def uh, the definition and calculation question which has two marks. Okay, not more than two minutes. And make sure, as I told you, if there is any symbol, dollar symbol, percentage or ratio, you follow the given question and then put in your dollar sign or uh, it could be units or ratios make sure you write that down it is important okay some questions will relate to just knowledge so where you need to show wider knowledge topic okay the question c focuses more on knowledge that means whether you know this particular chapter or not okay if you don't know that's it you are unable to explain okay other question will ask to apply your knowledge to the scenario given. Okay, normally question C, there's two type. One will ask you, like for example here, identify four methods of primary market research. So you just identify the four. Okay, some, okay, outline two ways, okay, could increase added value. So you see way one and then explain. Way two and then explain. Okay, so we will not necessarily should be a long, a lengthy thing. It should be a short, precise, correct answer, and then you explain it in detail. Okay, so part C question. You can see here the pink corner here. Outline points in relation to the scenario. 
identify or state knowledge, calculate a value. These type of questions will come out. Do not spend more than four to five minutes. Okay, remember I always say it because most of the students will complain. A GCSC business studies no time to complete. But if you have been practicing from the very beginning, like this, okay, question one, one minute, question two, another one minute, okay, question C, okay, question C, for example, A, A and B, one minute or two minutes, okay, question uh, C, uh, four minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. Then when you follow this um, exact time, right, then will be definitely, you will never say that I have no time to complete the paper. Okay. Next on D, okay, each question will require you to use knowledge and understanding to explain your answer and put your answer in context. Okay, definitely they need some explanation. But here you can put on your application uh, points here as well because it is worth six marks. Okay, six marks is a lot. Okay, you need to develop point, use the information from the scenario to help you. Always remember scenario is very important to help you. Explain why, uh, uh, explain why, don't just describe. Okay, remember I even have told you some of the students having difficulties of expanding the point. I said, come on boy or girls, ask yourself WH question. Why is this important? Okay, how is how this could be applicable in this question? When you ask yourself, you will tend to get the explanation well. Explain why, um, for example, show why something is an advantage and not simply it's an advantage. Okay, so make sure you show okay, why is it important. Okay, and this question spend about five to six minutes. Okay, last but not least, definitely will be your justify uh, question. Okay, I like this question very much. Each question will ask you to decide, okay, make a decision or a judgment using words like think, recommend, justify. Okay, explain your decision by comparing factors, option given, okay, or different points of view to give a balanced explanation. Try to spend not more than 10 minutes in this question. Okay, don't spend too much time, 10 minutes is sufficient enough for this type of question. So basically, you already know paper one. Okay, these are the way they will be asking you question. Paper two, yeah, it's definitely with your insert where they have a case study. It's a case study base. So everything in the case study is important. Remember, everything, it could be a normal, um, graph, it could be a normal poster, say not, what, everything there is important. Remember I told you application marks is 30% in paper two. Okay, so what is advisable here, you try to spend 10 to 15 minutes reading through the introduction on the appendix. Remember everything is important and the four question before attempt to answer any of the question. So you read, this scenario, read all the questions. Okay, don't like read the scenario, answer one, then go on. Read the scenario fully, read all the questions fully. So, roughly, you already got an idea what type of question they're asking. So, indirectly, while you're doing other questions, your brain is doing some brainstorming, getting in ideas. Okay, what should be done? Okay, it does not matter if you're not familiar with the type of business, but it's important that you, you use your knowledge and understanding and apply it to any situation there. What uh, you also should make sure to allow uh, more time to answer question B. Remember I told you B because it has 12 marks which require you to make a judgment. Okay, here comes your evaluation and analytical part here. Okay, so uh, A is still a question A still touch based on knowledge. You still have knowledge base but B is more on analyzing, evaluating things and application over there. Okay. Okay, simple. Explain two possible reasons why uh, Ali wants the business to remain small. Okay, so that is based on knowledge. It's based on your course. You got the points from your course book. Okay, uh, explain four reasons why effective communication between the owner and employee in a business is important. 
This is Eggma and it's more touch based on knowledge. Okay, some question will ask you to relate your answer to the case study, while others will ask you to explain more points in general terms. Most of the time, it will be general terms here. Okay, check how many points, okay, given the fewer number, example, two, point, two, uh, two points, the more detailed your answer need to be. In this example A, the top one asks for two points, so each D2 be a very detailed answer. Sometimes they give you four, so that will be much easier actually compared to two. If two, the first one must give good explanation, the second one a lot of explanation. But if they give you four, that means they only bring on two, 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 two. Total, it marks. Okay, that will be much easier. Okay, so just hope and pray that this year you get this um, uh, breakdown of uh, four, which is much more easier. Normally, they'll tend to give both, balancing both two and four. Okay, question B definitely is 12 uh, marks, right? With marks, it's definitely the highest marks in uh, business studies IDCSE, 12 marks the highest. Okay, asks you to provide balanced discussion and conclusion about a given situation. Okay, for example, they tell you to choose uh, this A or B option, A or option B, maybe problem on location, things like that. Some person will relate you to information given in one source, but others could require you to use more than one source. Okay, if you finish early, reread and check your answers, adding more relevant points and comments if you feel they are needed. So you don't just, oh, finish, just relax. Anyway, business studies, you won't have that uh, time, you know, say I have ample of time I finish, no. Okay, it would be just nice for you to finish. When I say, please put your pen down, just nice to stop down. It'll be like that, okay? So part A and B in paper two, similar uh, like uh, paper one question E, Okay, the difference is you will need to provide more detailed explanation here. This is 12 marks. Okay, and 8 marks, definitely more detailed explanation. Make sure you fully develop each point made to show how and why is it important. Always remember information from the data, case study from the data, from the appendix, everything need to be given as an evidence. Okay, and you must explain your conclusion, recommendation by comparing your choice against the option to give a balanced decision. Make it clear why it is the best option. So when they read, they should be, the examiner should know why you choose this option. It should be clear. Don't go around the bush. Some students like to play with words and go around the bush. Be direct, yet. You are not going out of the topic and uh, going around talking the same thing. In fact, give more detailed answers or give more evidence from the scenario or the case study. I already shared, right? Remember, I told you knowledge will share, application, and this is the same thing here. Okay, this I already shared with you. Okay, these are all the Common, uh, common words uh, used in the what do you call uh, business study IGCSE calculate, consider, define, explain, identify, justify, uh, outline, state. I will tell you most common one, I will tell you. Yeah? Calculate, yes. Define, yes. Explain, yes. Identify, yes. Justify, yes. This five is the most common one. This five, I'm repeating again now. Calculate, define, explain, identify, justify. Most common one. Okay. So we could see paper two came out with explain. Okay. So you have to explain in detail because there's only two. So if two, a lot. A lot, only they get eight months. Okay. okay, now I'm going to share a little bit on examples of candidate response. Okay, explain means the examiner would 
examiner will be expecting you to use your knowledge knowledge from the textbook course book to give detailed reason as to the usefulness of each method both positive and negative point both positive and negative point why remember the word justify justify means you have to make a supported decision a support decision means uh, giving a clear reason backed up by knowledge and evidence as to why the method you have chosen is more appropriate than option discussed okay so this is the marking scheme so okay example candidate response okay now explain two possible method of internal communication that are uh, that a small business could use in uh, to inform workers about possible expansion justify which method should be chosen i think this question is very very familiar with you okay and this is one of the sample answer okay you can read for yourself this is a solid response that clearly explains two method and reason why each one may be suitable okay one method is a meeting okay and i will also tell you something later i'll tell you what are the mistakes people do here first we need answer first one method is meeting meeting up meeting up good because you can get everyone together and if someone has any question it is easy to respond quickly to everyone which can help you to stop any misunderstandings okay although problem with meeting is that is that they take time and are difficult to arrange you see they have given you the good side of it as well as the negative side of it okay when important discussion are being discussed everyone should find out the same time and have the chance to ask question another way is send an email this can be sent to everyone at the same time and they can read it when they want however there is no way to make sure that everyone receives it or opens it at the same time if someone does not understand what has been written this is not easy to ask question so i think they should use a meeting uh, as they are more advantage to this method you see how they end they have given a decision that's what examiner wants whatever you can argue on top and the end you must give them a decision a stand the key that where are you standing you can really see it's so clear cut they have given okay but yet this can be amended in a different way okay on this question what i'm going to tell you some people just wrote written communication uh, you know okay written communication and uh, another one okay so what happened here you should actually give the, uh, uh, what you call example and then ex explain two possible methods a company should use okay in internal communication okay that other mistake Okay, the, se the second part of the question requires you to make choice inside the right? So make sure you have a clear choice and with your supportings. Okay, how the answer could be improved? How do you think you can improve this answer? The answer could be improved by giving clear reason as to why having a meeting is better than using email. Using the information from the case study at the start of the question will help you i'm telling you definitely will help you to get the evaluation mark and application as mark as well the question asks for methods of internal communication that a small business could use this means that point such as size and cost could be developed as a supporting factor as i say always go back to the scenario okay that will be definitely helpful so what are common mistakes done by them okay learners make them approaching evaluation question are not explaining points in detail okay basically they're trying to say they're not justifying it okay not no detail answer and not justifying it okay that are the thing here okay this part done 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 
Okay. Okay, now I'm going to tell you on how to do revision. Okay, how to focus on revision of business title is ITCIC here. Okay, before examination, what all you should do? Okay, make sure know the meaning of the, the common words, do what you call uh, revision notes. Okay, yes, I do give you this part, you know, this, this is a simple, simplified version. Okay, do your own notes as well. Okay, so that you'll remember it better. When you jot it down, you'll remember it better. These are a few examples that I can share with you that previous students have done, and in fact, it is a proven way of getting things done. Okay, so another thing, definition must not reuse the, the words to be defined. For example, remember the batch production that I gave you as an example? Batch production means making production of products in batches. Okay, remember, do not use back the same thing. Okay, for example, about market share, you use back the same word as market share. Okay, so next. Um, let's see. Okay, make sure at, at home, when you do question, finish question, you look at the marking scheme to help you understand better. Okay, so when you read when you read at the marking scheme, right, you will actually get an idea. Oh, this is what expected in IGCSE business. Okay, so you better check on that. Okay, in the examination, definitely first read the instruction clearly. Okay, of all the questions, make sure you read the instruction. Plan well. Okay, plan your time according to the marks. Okay, so you know two marks. Okay, one one minute, two minutes. Okay, six months. Okay, I have to spend here about five, six minutes, seven minutes like that. You have to plan well. If not, you won't have sufficient time to finish the entire paper. Do not leave out questions or part of the question. Remember, no answer means no marks, right? So at least try to answer, attempt to answer these questions. Okay, um, read, uh, read each question carefully. Okay, identify the common words. Okay, what is important. Okay, underline and so on. Okay, then you make sure use your knowledge and understanding. Okay, do not just write all you know, only write what is needed by the question. Some of you just put on, adding on, adding on, just simply as long, oh, completed the box. No, you must go according to the question. Precise, accurate, and explain. Okay, and uh, use case study material to support the answer. Definitely, it's very, very important. When you're asked to calculate data, make sure you show your working. Look carefully at what units used. Okay, percentage, ratios, or so on. Don't tell. Oh, I already do a working in another piece of paper, and I'm not showing it here. Okay, especially paper two, if ratios, current ratio, as it has ratios comes out, okay, you need to show all this working. Everything will be given point. Okay, do not spend too much time in one part. So then, no, too much part in only one part. So what happens? You cannot, you are unable to finish the other questions. Okay, that is in general huh, what you should do during exam. So, uh, paper one, remember, make sure you have different points of application and analysis each time. Okay, each question, make sure you apply something, analyze something. When question asks you to out, uh, outline different options, it is no good providing two similar examples. Make sure you use that, uh, make sure you have like, uh, what do you call, I uh, different, different points. Okay, some of you just tend to just use the same thing, same thing. Okay. When you're asked to make decision, okay, it is, uh, make it a point, uh, okay, many candidates assume that simply stating yes or no are a judgment. No, just saying yes or no is not a judgment. Okay, make sure you can explain the reason behind this particular statement. Okay, 
on paper to sign, make sure you do uh, so by making clear reference to information in the case study. The case study is the most important thing in the insert that they're giving given you. Make sure you utilize that. Okay. If you're asked to consider two or more options, it is not good just write, writing about one. You'll be expected to discuss at least two options using both advantage and disadvantage. Remember, I always say, okay, when you talk about advantages, and then you use the word however, and then you write about the disadvantage. This will be easier for the examiner to mark. You're not giving examiner a tough time to mark your paper. Okay, because there are so many papers to mark. Okay, many questions will ask you to make a justified uh, recommendation. It is important to offer decision based on balance argument. The recommendation should uh, compare and make a reference as to why alternative options were rejected as well as justifying the option that was chosen without repeating all the previous analysis. Okay, so that is all as at now that I can share with you on the um, business studies paper one and paper two. The most important thing guys you see here, practice makes perfect. You learn from mistake. Another thing that you should remember, the questions are all repetitive. So the more questions you do, the more you are familiarized with the IDCSC style. Simple. You practice, practice, practice. As you know, you already know. And you do 2013 and then you compare 2068. I've seen this question somewhere. Right? So you keep on practicing. That will be very important. And that will give you a, a clear platform on what is important for IDCSC. Practice makes perfect. Always motivate yourself, okay, that you can do. Okay, short notes will be given to you. I'll be giving you the short notes. I mean, the seminar pack okay if you find that you're doing additional thing you can always feel free to write more notes on the given uh seminar pack that i'm going to give you okay so um as i said now that is all that i could share with you on this uh small seminar over here i hope and i wish and pray that all of you uh, are practicing at home as well doing some revision at home um reading textbooks or reading Z notes or any other notes that you have by the own short notes, okay, that will be very, very important. Okay, because this study is about reading and technique of writing to score the A's. Okay, it is possible and definitely with you guys, okay, working together with me, definitely it is possible. If, if you have full heartedly want to commit and do, you will do it. Trust me, you can do it. I know you will do it. So I will end this session today. Okay, that all the best for your IGCSC. Always remember, study smart. Now it's time to study smart and definitely success is yours. Thank you very much. And I am Mr. Ganesan, your business study teacher, 0450 Business Studies IGCSC. Thank you very much.